Okay, folks, Mike Miller here. And we're back with the Grimsworth reports. Would fall. We found a list of all the women's names in the town because it seems like the old path have been somehow. Don't ask me how. Stealing all of the local ladies' blood to planted crime scenes for some reason. Seems weird that they would only want the women's blood. Wouldn't you want a nice smattering of everybody's blood just in case you need to frame somebody you know who isn't female? Seems a bit weird. But anywho, our next target, target, <laughs> our next position, oh gosh, the next place we're going is not here, sorry, uh, the next place we're going is the church, because apparently this one has been making threats against the church, probably because the church is the only place with normal-ish people in it in this place, and the church goes don't want no weirdness going on where they live, right? I should be stopping in and talking to more people. I, I'm sorry, I'm probably skipping over some quite important things. If not important, at least whimsical. Like our friend Kuta from the last episode. With a gummit! But I hate outsiders! So let's go see what's happening in this churchy watch. Has is, is he got anything to say? Anything interesting now? I know I got a hammer off him, but. He just wants to be left alone. Please leave me alone with my phone. I'm not actually texting anybody. I'm just, I just, I'm just doing this to get people to leave me alone. Take the hint. Alrighty then. So we've got a few people wandering around. In, well, not even wandering around. Standing stock still in here. June, huh? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm at a loss of words right now. What happened? Joseph and I went home for lunch and, well. Someone had left a dead goat on our front porch. Yeah, blood was everywhere. And there was a message that said, It said, You're next. I know I should have faith at times like these, but, but I've never been so terrified. What's going on in our little town? It's been packed with weirdos. I can't surprise nobody noticed or saw this coming. Okay. What about you, Joseph? They threatened my wife. That's where I draw the line. That's surprising that it has to involve your own family before you draw the line. Someone in this town is out of control. And if no one else is going to take care of it, then I will. Jack doesn't like it when I talk like this, I know, but... Goodness, I tell you, I've never felt so ready to fight. They'd better stay away from my wife. I'll rip them apart with my bare hands, you hear me? I hear you, Joseph. Maybe just take a chill pill, man. Just calm down a bit. Calm down? I'll calm down when these psychopaths are caught. I've had enough of this. Yes, well, I would have thought the murder of a local villager would have been the, the line that you drew, but okay, you have to involve your family first. That's a big box. What have you been, what have you got there, huh? Pastor Jack. What's that? Sorry, I, I, I'm a bit shook up. The threats. Uh, yes, they... Well, it's a little more serious this time. Joseph and June went back to the house for a lunch break. And when they got there, they found a dead goat on their front porch with blood smeared all over the place. A message had been written on their door that said, You're next. That's the first time June and Joseph have been threatened. I also received another anonymous letter today. And this one had pictures of my family. They've been out of town while, while all this blows over, but it, it seems someone has tracked them down. Chuck, please do something about all this. You don't want to call it Chuck, right? Well, I prefer Charles, since this is the first time we're officially meeting. I, I fear the whole town is in danger. The whole town is here? Y yes. I know they're targeting the church right now, but people in town are worried. I'm just afraid that this whole thing is about to get ugly. I can feel it. Like a storm is coming. I don't want to take any more of your time. Please, please just get to the bottom of this. I'm on it, Pastor Jack. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. An empty cardboard box. This could be useful. Oh. <laughs> Oh my word, that is brilliant. I can, I can walk around in the box. I can, hey, check me out, check me out. 
<laughs> yeah, so this thing ain't got shit on me. <laughs> this is great. Also, I can't leave a place while I've got the box equipped, so I have to... Okay. Now I can leave. Alright. Oh, hi. God damn, you guys... You guys are just stalking me all over town. You just, you just follow me to somewhere and they just wait outside for me. God damn it, Sheriff. Chuck, we got a real bad situation on our hands. Nathan Bain down at Chopwell has pulled a gun on himself and threatening to take his own life. I'm not really an expert at talking people out of shooting themselves, and I could really use your help. Why in the buggering hell are you the sheriff if you can't do anything, anything related to solving crimes? Or stopping people from committing suicide? What use are you? Honestly, what would you do if I wasn't here? I'm here investigating a frickin' murder, and I'm bloody... I'm stopping people from killing themselves. I'm trying to find people's consoles that they accidentally threw in the frickin' garbage. Uh, I, uh, I... Seriously, how has this town not just been set alight and burnt to the ground while I've been, like, not here? Okay. Officer Lance turned up something at the cemetery office that he thought you might want to check out as well. But I really prefer that you to try to help with the Nathan situation. Well, I'm off to the cemetery. Tell Nathan I'll meet him there. Oh, no, okay, fine. Excellent. And good luck. Nathan Bain's threatened to commit suicide. Yeah, I know, I've already... I already chose my path. I already said what I was going to do. I don't... Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, well, yeah, tell me about Nathan, I guess. Nathan's always been moody. But he's really in a spin in a slump as of late. I have a feeling he may be receiving pressure from someone. He may even be tied to our murder. But be careful when you talk to him. This is about saving his life, not about trying to see if these two things are connected. Hi, Nathan, I see you've got a gun to your head. What do you know about the murder? You know something? Okay, alright, this is going to be stressful. Trying to stop someone from killing themselves. Yay, I didn't sign up for this shit. I like the way there's still people just stood there going about their everyday... I mean, look at this! You two could not give a solitary shit, could you? And to be honest, if Nathan does shoot himself, I think he's only going to damage his nose. I think he'll be fine. He probably is missing on, on, on his look. Just stay away from me, man. I'm going to do it! Uh, I just want to talk. Talk? Talk about what? I'm going to shoot myself. I'm tired of this stupid town, this stupid life. Never mind. Never mind. Just, you know what? Just pull the trigger and it'll just make everything go away. I, never. What about your friends? Oh, he's going to say he's got none, isn't he? Friends? I don't have any friends. Name me one good thing that's happened to me in this town. You found that secret path? Yeah, I did. Kelly helped me find it. That was actually a lot of fun. I don't hang out with people in Woodfall much, but Kelly's really nice. I... I guess I had forgotten about that in the middle of all this. Man, I wish Kelly would go out with me. I don't think she knows it, but... Well, I think she's the most gosh darn beautiful girl in this whole gosh darn weird little town. Tell me what. We're here for you. Really? I mean, I guess you did come down here to talk to me. Maybe... Maybe I should tell Kelly how I feel. Maybe there is a reason to live here after all. Thank you, Mr. Grimsworth. Thank you so much. No problem, Nathan. Glad to not have to clean your brains off the wall. That's great. Chuck can't shake the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Well, what, on top of the dismembered body? Thank you again, Chuck. Now I've just got to work up the courage to go talk with Kelly. Good luck, buddy. Does, does this person even have anything remotely interesting to say? Oh, okay, wait a second. You there! You look like someone who knows how to get things done. Could you pick up an important package for me? I guess so. Yes, there's a very important package for me down at the post office, but I can't pick it up because... Well, there's a rather bad blood between Peter Till and I, and he keeps refusing to deliver it to me. But... I... bad blood... Well, Peter and I used to work at the post office together, but I quit a while back, and he knows that, sir, that it's because of him. 
Peter is absolutely unbearable to be around and nearly impossible to work with. I can't have that kind of stress in my life. Okay, I'll go and steal. Okay, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Getting the package will be quite difficult. I'm certain he has it sitting on the back sorting desk, but the only way to get there is to get by Peter. And he never leaves the front desk. You need some. Uh, you need to find some way to sneak past him. Like maybe hiding in a sneaky little box. Maybe doing your best sort of snake impression. <laughs> sorting desk? Yes, there's a sorting desk in the back of the post office. Huge pile of letters, you can't miss it. I'm sure the box is sitting right there. Still, getting past Peter will be tricky. Sneak past? There has to be some way to make yourself invisible to Peter. You know, some stealth technology or something like that. I hear cardboard boxes are great for hiding from people. Maybe you could find one down at the church sometime. They're always getting boxes. Is that some kind of weird plot point? Why is the church always getting boxes? Is it just more dead goats? Does he just keep getting dead that dead goats delivered via UPS? Huh? Well, I guess I can go... Which way was the post office again? It was this way, wasn't it? Chuck, there's been a murder at the subdivision. What the fudge? There's been another murder? Oh, jeez. Wait a second. I've got some really important stuff. You know what? Can you put the murder on hold for a second? I've got to go and steal a box back for somebody because that is so vitally important. Uh, this is great. I love it. This is fantastic. Can I just pick this up? Oh, do I have to be out of the box? This is fantastic. I've retrieved the package. Uh, and this guy is none the wiser. Ooby dooby doo. Nothing going on here. This is completely normal. There, this is just there's just a huge remote control car in this box. This is amazing. You didn't see nothing. Shishisha. In and out. In and out like a like a like a like a like a sneaky thing. My goodness me, that was brilliant. I've there we go. I have it. Da, da, da. What, really? Not even a thank you? Thank you for your help, Chuck. You must have been quite stealthy to get past Peter. Yes, indeed. Yes, uh, many people do call me Mr. Stealth Master. Nobody calls me that. So I need to go to the subdivision to see who's been murderized now. There could be nobody left in the town. Everybody's getting sliced and diced. Oh yeah, I forgot that this Jess outside the post office wants help too. You need help? Yes, I seem to have lost my pet bird. She's a beautiful Woodfall Clipper. You might be able to find her around Woodfall Park if you look hard enough. But you'll need to get an animal guide from somewhere so that you can properly identify her. Would you look around for her? Fine, I'll find your burb. Fine. Oh, wait. Th that's... When I was trying to click on the birds before, and it was just like, this is a bird. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't find Clipper. I like the way you, that's an option. I found Clipper. I blatantly just not gone anywhere or moved anywhere, but I found your bird, believe it or not. I'm just a magician. Okay, so is the subdivision this way? I remember going there by accident. Is this the subdivision? Is this the subdivision? Maybe, I think so. Why is there organ music here? Whoa there! What have you got under your vest? I mean, that, that's either a really impressive beer belly, or you have got a basketball stash under there, my friend. I, I can't open the door, okay. Well, who are you, anyway? What is... Uh, way too much spray on tan. <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> How are you doing today, detective? Um, you okay? Are you on something? Or in something? Can I have some? Oh, well, why, yes. I'm doing quite all right. Anything I can help you with, Mr. Grimsworth? Nice tan. Okay, what does Leonard have to say about Woodfall? Oh, Woodfall is just... just lovely. So many... refined females walking around town. Okay, Leonard, you are freak deacon me out, my friend. Uh, who are you? Me? Oh, I'm just little old Leonard Baines. Brother of, you know, the fine and great Marty Baines. Yeah, old Marty. 
He practically owns this town. <laughs> I don't like this guy. How are you? Oh, a little distraught that I lost my crowbar. I last had it when I was doing some work in Woodfall Park. Suppose I got distracted. That Jasmine Jones is always out there in the park, and let me tell you, yeah, boy, she's a looker. Know what I mean? I must have left the crowbar not but ten feet or so away. Probably next to a tree or something. Useless to me now, though. Maybe someone else will find it. Okay. Seen anything unusual other than yourself? Oh, and not really. Been quite a few outsiders like yourself around lately. Suppose that's a bit unusual. Don't you worry. Nothing bad will be happening to you. Not yet, anyhow. Uh, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. Please don't stab me in the back. There's another one of these weird boards. I don't do anything about them yet, though. Oh no, who's dead now? Well, hello there, Detective Chuck Grimsworth. There's been another murder. And on your watch. Congratulations. It's right here in this fancy blue house. Why do you hate me? You jerk. Make sure you just makes you seem suspicious, man, when you act like a... I'm not going to even go there with him. Just give me the key. Give me the key, Tom, and jog on. Oh, I don't know. That's a tough question, Chuck. But I suppose I might as well hand it over so I can watch you humiliate yourself with bad investigating again. Uh, thanks. Thanks for the pep talk, buddy. Fuck, what an asshole. Clicky. Oh my good lord. Well, the couch took more damage than the body did. Where, where, in fact, where is the body? Is there a body? What the f? What the f? Blood's everywhere, like a wild animal tore through the house. Okay, Jonathan. You ever seen anything like this? Sheriff's in the kitchen. He'd like to talk with you. He's just sitting in the corner, rocking backwards and forwards, saying, How many more have to die? How many more have to die? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Who was killed? Melissa and Jaden Gilbert. They were too young for this kind of thing. Goodness. What way to go? How'd they die? Whoever, or whatever, came in here, uh, tore through them like shred of paper. Literally pulverized the bodies. Most of the corpse of each is simply missing, and the sheriff suspects those bits were eaten. It's absolutely disgusting. There's absolutely nothing in common with the murderer up at the cabin. Any leads? Mm, the ammo is very similar to the long to a long string of John and Jane Doe's that we've had here in Woodfall. In the past, we always chalked them up to animal attacks, but the sheriff has taken this one more seriously. With it being in a house here in the subdivision, this was no animal attack. How can you be sure? How can you be so sure? A bear could have just strolled up and like, just, you know. Avon calling. And they answer the door and it's just a bear with an Avon catalogue. What do you mean you don't want to buy any of my shit? You know, it's totally plausible. Of course it could be an animal attack. Shh. Oh, this is the bedroom. Nice and clean in here. No signs of blood here. Nice dresser, nicer TV. Take a clear level yeah, okay, well, all right then. Oh, so that was the stairs? Well, there must be something this, oh, is this a door? Oh, okay. Um. Um, what is that? Is that just intestines? How can you be so sure this is the remains of the couple? This hole is just large enough to climb into. There's a hole? Oh, shit, it came in through a hole. Oh, so the bed, the, it did, whoever did it didn't knock on the door then. Well, what a mess, right? There's a tunnel in here, and I suspect it leads to where the attacker came from. You need some climbing gear if you want to check that out. We also found a key near a small part of garbage that was sitting in the living room. I have no idea what it goes to, but you could look into that if you like. I also want to start putting together an evacuation plan for the town, because I've got a bad feeling about all this. You could help me by delivering some notes to a few people in the community. This is a big decision right here. The key to something random into the tunnel or delivering the notes. Give me the, give me the, give me. Tunnel. 
Go in the tunnel. I time to be brave. I run away from the last thing. This time I'm going to go straight into it. Ooh, I need some climbing gear. Okay. Need to find some sort of climbing gear around town. I have no idea what's in there, but good luck. And try not to die. Like everybody else seems to be doing. This human flesh is being completely pulverized. Yeah, someone's just been tenderizing it. They're just going to fry it up. Alrighty dokey then, I need to go back to the town of Mines of Climbing Gear, okay, yay. But that's gonna happen next time! Oh. Ooh, the plot thickens and I'm just wondering how many more people I can let die during my playthrough here. It's like the more I dilly dally, the more innocent lives are at risk. Yes, I've been making my I hope you're enjoying this still. Or at all, I am. I'm really enjoying the silliness of some of it, it's brilliant. <laughs> Oh boy, if you did enjoy this, please don't forget to hit the like button. Womp that like button. And womp the subscribe button too if it's your first time here and you're even slightly entertained. And have yourselves a fantastic morning, noon, evening, or night. See you all next time around. Bye for now.